terrorism and violent extremism conducive to terrorism are multifaceted phenomena that are both global and local in nature. The transnational nature of the threat posed by these phenomena requires continued international cooperation and contributions from all levels of actors. These contributions are necessary to adequately address the complex set of factors, whether global or local in nature, that give rise to violent extremism conducive to terrorism. In order to assist states, the Global Counterterrorism Forum, or GCTF, developed the Memorandum on Good Practices on Strengthening National Local Cooperation in Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism Conducive to Terrorism. These good practices are intended to help policymakers, practitioners and professionals implement local action plans and or local capacity building programs to prevent and counter violent extremism conducive to terrorism, PCVE. All PCVE measures should be designed and implemented in a manner that is consistent with all applicable international law obligations, such as, for example, the non-discrimination principle. In addition, if they are to be effective, PCVE measures should reflect the local challenges posed by violent extremism and the local capacities to address them. It is the only way to build evidence-based, efficient and cooperative programmes that leverage existing resources and platforms. The national government is uniquely positioned to provide the framework and resources for catalyzing and sustaining engagement with civil society, local governments or members of the private sector. Reaching this understanding requires fostering inclusive national dialogue on PCVE. This dialogue should involve a wide range of stakeholders, national and subnational government agencies, the private sector and representatives from international, regional and sub-regional organisations. Such a dialogue should focus on the specificities of the threat posed by violent extremism, its local drivers, as well as the related needs and resources of the communities the policy is intended to serve. As a next step, the national government should identify which public and private sector actors and local community members are best placed to design and implement programmes. States should also provide training, financial and material resources to local actors. Sustainable funding is key to ensuring that prevention efforts address long-term risk indicators. In order to facilitate cooperation and information sharing, states should foster trust among stakeholders. This can be achieved through clear guidelines and principles, preferably in domestic legislation. Promoting effective coordination, communication and collaboration also involves tailoring strategies to the needs of marginalised and hard-to-reach rural communities, as well as protecting a good balance between national leadership and local implementation of the programmes. Sustained political will at national and local levels and across sectors for PCVE implementation is critical. Finally, it is necessary to regularly monitor and evaluate M and E national and local initiatives to PCVE to ensure that they are age and gender sensitive as well as consistent with international law obligations. Effective M and E can improve understanding of what works to prevent and counter violent extremism conducive to terrorism and what does not. Would you like to know more about strengthening national local cooperation in PCVE? You can read the full text of the Memorandum on Strengthening National Local Cooperation in Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism Conducive to Terrorism at the GCTF website www.thegctf.org.